In the last lesson, we learn about balancing redox reaction, how we just have regular redox reaction. To balance the regular redox reaction, we just have to split the redox reaction in terms of reduction and oxidation, and then we balance the electron, and that's it. But now, we have redox reaction that happen in either acidic solution or a basic solution, and that kind of changed everything. Because in an acidic solution, you have an excess H+, where in the basic solution, you would have OH- ions. So, how is that going to change the steps in balancing redox reaction in this specific condition? Well, first of all, the good thing is that both of them are very similar, except for the basic solution, which we will cover in more detail. And it just have one specific step that's being added to it, which is for every hydrogen ion plus you add OH to both sides. And if the OH and H plus are the same side, we would change them into H2O. But we'll get to that later. Now let's focus on the acidic solution. But if we look at step two, that's when we see the changes. That is, we are balancing the elements first, not the electron. And only that we are looking for any element that are not hydrogen and oxygen. Because in step three and four, for every extra oxygen, remember we have the reactant side and product side, we can pair both sides. For any extra oxygen, you would add water. Because the oxygen in water to the other side, which is, has lower number of oxygen. And then for the same thing, for extra hydrogen, you would add H plus to the side that has lower H plus, okay? Not until step five, that's when you look at the electron. But when we do electron, we are doing something different. That is, we are using the negative properties of electron to cancel out the charges. Where are the charges coming from? More likely, it's coming from the positive charges, especially that positive charge right there. Okay? Not until step seven, when we go back to the half cell and look at the electron, and we just do the same thing we did before. Uh, and lastly, cancel like terms. Now let's do an example problem together, okay? And notice how I color code everything for you. So I'm gonna put this over here, and hopefully you can see it, and I'm gonna do this over here, and from there we are going to do with step one. And of course step one is assigning the oxidation number all the time, because we need to do that first before we can do anything in terms of dividing or half reaction. So here I have minus two, plus 5, and here I have 0, minus 2, plus 4, and here I have plus 1. And we are going to start with our Leo, which is oxidation. So I have my Leo, okay, right there. And the oxidation in this case is going to be from um, Ag here, 0, all the way to plus. So as it's become more positive, that means lose a negative electron. So we have Ag. Okay, and it's gonna go to Ag plus. Notice how I don't write anything about the electron. If we go back to our steps, we don't see electron until step five. In this case, the Ag is balanced. We don't have oxygen, we don't have hydrogen, so we can go down to step five. So in step five, what we have here is balance out the charges using the electron. Notice how this is zero charges, okay, and this one has a plus one charges so to make this equal to zero or to make this side equal to zero we need to add a negative electron here and that will give a total of zero here and a total of zero there that's how we balance the charges on both sides okay and that's it that's all we have to do in this situation for Leo now let's go back and do the other part which is the reduction or the GER part, okay? So what is it that we're gonna do in terms of the GER part? So I wanna write GER for reduction, and of course the GER is gonna be that part right there. We have that plus five going to plus four, become more negative, and that will give us the reduction. So we have NO3 minus going to NO2, there you go. And then now, we go back to steps. The N is already balanced, 
So again, we'd balance any other element beside hydrogen and oxygen. Now we go to the next step, which is step three and four. Let's look at the oxygen. Here we have how many oxygen. So step four, we're using the green color. In this case, here I have two oxygen on that side, and here are three oxygen. So therefore, I need to balance it out by adding another oxygen. And how many water do we need? Each water, which is H2O, right? It has one oxygen, so I just need to add one more water molecules right there. And now I have three oxygen and three oxygen. And that is step three. And then we go to step four. Because we're adding water to it, it will change the number of hydrogen. Here we have two. Over here we have zero. So how can I make this side to have two hydrogen as well? Of course, I'm going to add two. So for every extra hydrogen, I will have an H+. Plus. So in this case, I'm going to add two H+. Plus. So now both of them has hydrogen. And that's it for step four. Now let's go back to step five to our charges. So we had to balance out the charges. Okay. In this case, if we look at this one, this one has a net charge of zero. And this one has a net charge of zero as well. So the total is zero on this side. But over here we have, there's no coefficient there. So we just know that's minus one or one minus. Here we have plus, but there are two of them. So we have two plus. And a two plus and a minus one, that cancel out to be a one plus. So how many more electrons do we need to cancel? That one plus, of course, is just one more electron. And that's all we have to do for step five. So we have our half cells all the way to step five. Okay. And the last step is just combine them together. And when we combine them together, remember the basic redox reaction? We just make sure that the electron needs to be equal to each other. Here we have plus one electron. Here we have the one electron again. So they bounce. Now we just cancel out light term. Of course, the electron cancel out. Can we cancel anything else? Okay. Basically, cancel out reacting with the product. Uh, usually, I just cancel out the electron because everything else becomes very confusing to cancel. But when we write down again, starting from the top first and then going down to the bottom. So in this case, my top is AG, just to keep information organized. And we go down to the bottom. Remember, we cancel out the electron already. So we have two plus that right there. And then we have NO3 minus. There you go. We are done with the reactant side. Now we go to the product side. In this case, we have AG plus that part right there. And we continue to the bottom, NO2, and then plus H2O. Beautiful. And do we have any light term that we need to cancel out? That means we have water here. Do we have water? No. We have Ag, but that's Ag plus. So let's check again. We have one Ag, one Ag, two hydrogen, two hydrogen, one N, and how many? Oh, we have three here, and two plus one give you three. And there you go. It is balanced. Now let's try a more challenging problem. In this case, I have this chemical reaction here that needs to be balanced. And of course, how do I know that this is going to be an acidic solution? It will tell us, okay? So in this case, we go back, and the very first thing we have to do is assign the oxidation number. So we have this is minus two. Well, this is, yes, this is minus two, and this is plus six, okay? And this is plus one, this is minus two, and this is plus three, okay? Then, we, of course, we just have this is plus three, and then we have this minus two, and this is plus five. There you go. And if you have a difficult time assigning the oxidation number, please go back and review that specific video, okay? Now, let's go back and look at this problem together. Go back to step number one. Now, we can separate them into what you call it, half reaction. So, a half reaction, again, going back to Leo. So what we have here is Leo. What happened in Leo? We have loss of electron. In this case, to lose a loss of electron, it's going to become more positive. And which one become more positive? In this case, we have um, hydrogen. Hydrogen, we don't look at it because it's not there anymore. And uh, 
how about the nitrogen nitrogen plus three and we have plus five there you go it become more positive so that is our oxidation so I'm gonna write that down HNO3 or NO2 specifically I'm going to NO3 minus there you go now let's go back to our next steps okay so our next step is balance out other element in this case we have well let's go to our next step the next step is to balance all elements except for hydrogen and oxygen this N is 1 and 1 over here is balanced and we have H and O let's worry about that next as in step 3 so step 3 we focus on the oxygen in this case we have 3 oxygen here and we have 2 oxygen there so we need to make sure that this side also has 3 and how many more water do we need of course it's just one more water so we add one h2o okay each water molecules only have one oxygen and that's it for step three now we go to step four which is now the hydrogen oh we have two and one that gave us three and if we need three more over here what do we need to do again going back every extra hydrogen we need to have one h plus on the other side in this case of course this side and what we have here is what color do we have green now so here we have two and one that's three so we need to add three h plus on this side okay and that's it for that specific step isn't that easy now let's go to step five we need to balance out the charges in this case this has zero charges this has a net of zero charges so this has zero charges um over here we have a minus net charge but there's no coefficient so that's minus one or one minus in terms of charges here we have a plus there are three of them so that tell you there are three plus and the total in this case minus and three that will cancel out to what that will give us two plus so how can i make this side equal to zero of course i need to add the negative electron and that negative electron, how many electrons are we going to add? Of course, it's going to be two electrons. There you go. And that's all we have to do for this half reaction. Now let's go back and look at the GER part, which is the reduction part. Okay. So for the reduction in this case, it's going to become more negative. And which one has more negative? Let's go back and look. Here we have plus six. Oh, and here we have plus three. There you go, become more negative. That's easy. So we have GER, which is in this case Cr2O7 to minus, and that's going to Cr3 plus. Notice how in normal reduction reaction, we just focus on the individual atom in a compound. But in this case, we copy down the entire compound. Okay, so that's one very important information that you need to know now let's go back to step two so step two is balance all other elements in this case the other elements are chromium here i have how many chromium i have two chromium and of course this side is going to be two chromium as well isn't that easy that's step two again we're not focusing on the oxygen and hydrogen in step two so now let's look at step three which is the oxygen here I have seven oxygen. So how am I gonna add seven oxygen to this side? Of course, I need seven water molecules because each one can only give me one oxygen. And there you go, seven oxygen and seven oxygen. And that's gonna trigger to step four, which we now have to balance out the hydrogen. Here we have seven times two, that gives us 14. So over here we need 14 hydrogen. And again, each hydrogen, we will add one H plus so in this case we're going to add 14 h plus so now both sides have 14 hydrogen isn't that easy now let's go to step five so step five is, is balance out the charges and this is where it gets tricky because we have a lot of charges involved in this case right so what we have here is a minus two okay or yeah minus two or two minus in terms of charges and then here we have plus, but there are 14 of them, so we have 14 plus. And that cancel out. Give us 14 minus 2. That give us 12 plus. 
on that side, right? Let's go back on this side. We have right here zero. Okay, that's easy. Here we have three, but we have two of them, so that will give us a total of six plus. So here we have six plus, here we have 12 plus. So what do I need to add? Well, how many electrons I need to add to make this into six plus? 12, so we need to add six negative. There you go, we got to plus six negative electron. And that will bring this side to have plus six or six plus charges. And now the charges cancel out. And there you go, you have your half reactions done. In this case, this is our Leo, okay? And this is our Ger. And the rest is just combine them together. So again, combine starting from the top. Oh, wait, look what happened to the electron. Here we have six and here we have two. So we need to balance that electron. So what do we need to do? So how can I make this into six? Of course, I have to multiply everything by three. So now that's going to be a three there. That's going to be a three there. That's going to be three there. That's going to be a nine there. And that's going to be a six there. Oh, good thing we catch that. So now let's go back and combine our half reaction. Of course, we can cancel out the electron. We don't need to write out the electron. Okay. So starting from the top, we have 3H2O plus 3HNO2. Okay. Now going down, we have 14H plus and we have Cr2O7 to minus. And that's it for the reactant side. Let's write the products down on the bottom. So starting from the top, we have 3NO3 minus, and we have, remember, 9H plus. Then we cross out the electron already. Let's go down here. Then we have plus 2Cr3 plus, plus 7H2O. And there you go. Um, and that's it. Now, uh, in terms of combining, now we just need to cancel out like term. Well, let's start with the water first, okay? I'm going to use a different color just so we can see it. Red, let's go green. How about that? So in this case, we have three water, and that's seven water. And that can make this have four water left. So we have four water H2O left there. What other light term do we see? Oh, I also see the hydrogen plus right there. This has 14, that has nine. So therefore, how many do we have left on this one? That's going to give us five hydrogen ions plus left and any other light room that i have mm. and that's it right so let's rewrite our answer a really long one so we have three h and o two plus five h plus two or seven two minus and go into our product i think we can actually fit them all let's see if we can fit them all three Three minus plus two Cr three plus and plus four H two O, and that is our answer. So, well, let me take a minus two right there. So, and that's our answer. As you can see, this process is pretty easy, but you need to be patient with the process to solve this problem. Okay. And again, when you take notes, make sure you use different color. So that way, you have a better understanding when you go back and look at your steps again. Go to StreamlineEdge.com to download ready to use online practice with immediate feedback. You don't have to make copies. All of your student work is auto graded. This will save you a lot of paper and hours of grading. The links are in the description below. Thank you.